Hi folks, this is the new video of Gabor in, at GaborSpeaks.com and today I'm going to talk to you about anger. Why? Because I wrote a post recently and uh, I got an interesting comment for that. But before I tell you about it, please go ahead and read this post. It is short, so don't worry. I posted a link in the description, so please click on it and read it. I will give you time for that. So pause the video and read it. Okay, now welcome back. You'll see, this was a post, right? And I received a feedback of it saying that, okay, Gabor, you are just too quick to show your anger. And also, this is another sign that you are a sociopath. What? All right, I gotta admit that there was some anger in this post, definitely. And it was also an ego trip in a sense that, wow, look at me, now I won. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, I admit that. But does it make me a sociopath? Really? So does it, make, does it mean that I'm going out and manipulating people in order to harm them? No. No, 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 I, I don't do that. Anyway, <clears throat> what this post and uh, this reaction of the post told me or showed me is that there are a lot of people who are uncomfortable with any sign of anger of other people, of their anger, and I think this is a big problem. Why? Because, okay, first of all, if you are repressing anger, it's going to be bad for you. You might think that you are a good person, but what you really are is full of shit because you're not cultivating this enormous power that, it is, that is inside of you. So, for example, I met a lady another day and I knew her before and I told her something that clearly pissed her off. I don't remember what it was. Maybe she was rightful to be pissed off, maybe she wasn't, but it's not the point here. She was pissed off, and I saw her eyes just opening like this, face like that, and start, she started panting like that, and then afterwards, she just cut it. Like, no, I'm a good person. I'm not angry. Dude, you were angry. It's okay. Be angry. Let's have a fight. Shout at me. Whatever, you know, and then we are going to figure out what is what is the problem with each other. But if you cut your anger, you're not going to be able to do this, right? And I understand that anger is dangerous. It can be dangerous. But guess what? If you repress it, it's going to be even more dangerous because you just don't let any... Uh, you just don't give any any sort of window for this energy to go out. And if you repress it, you know, at first it can just give you cramps in your muscles and then afterwards, you know, as it piles up, it's going to cause you pain in your body and third, it can even cause you cancer, really. If you are working hard on repressing your anger for de decades, then yeah, this is a chance, an ever-growing chance that you actually get cancer. And you see, this is not really good in a spiritual way either it doesn't help you at all because okay i understand that there is the divine love that is godly in us that connects us all right this is a really fine thing to have to feel this connection experience this connection but if you only have connection then you are just going to lose yourself you will not know your borders you will not know who you are and anger the devil you know, it's needed for us to push the things away that we don't want to engage in. Things, people, etc. Yeah? And this is the energy to do that. So to set borders in order to get to know ourselves and in order to, to see who we are as an individual. This is very important. And of course, connection is also important because if you are just working with your anger and then you are angry with people 
then it means that, okay, you are only going to have separation. You're only going to have borders around you. You're going to be alone and you're not going to experience this life to the fullest because you're not sharing with, with anybody else and you don't let anybody else's experience in your life. And that's also a problem. So again, you know, there is a reason why there is yin and yang. The good and the evil, yeah, the black and the white, because they work together in order to create a whole, you know, to, for you to become complete. And you cannot experience this completeness if you repress your anger in yourself. And I'm not saying that I'm like a guru or a spiritual or somebody who has integrated anger in himself. No, I, I acknowledge that I have problems with this. But what I want to work on is how to express this anger in order that it helps me and it doesn't alienate everybody else around me. Okay, so if you want to give me an advice, don't give me an advice. Be nice, be a great person because this is how everybody's going to like you. No, you know, I don't want to be full of shit. You know, I want to be honest and I also want to be honest with my anger. So if you want to give me advice, please give me advice on how to incorporate this anger in my personality so that again, it helps me. Okay, so once you have such an advice, please get in touch with me, leave a comment, send a message. And yeah, once you're ready, then drop a line and come speak with Gabor at GaborSpeaks.com.